What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. If I seem aggravated, I am. Um, Steve Clifford and Pumley just cost me a, a, a crazy amount of money. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it, man. Um, Hornets take an L, man. We just couldn't stop Nurkic. Uh, he had his way. He did whatever he wanted to do the same way almost any center does when they play the Charlotte Hornets. Um, we saw Mark Williams tonight. It was good to see him, and he actually did make an impact. He did have five fouls, and, you know, at certain points, Nurkic was bullying him in the post, but so did he, he did that to everybody, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I think Mark Williams played good for his first game. Um, I mean, it's, 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 this is basically his rookie debut. Um, I think he did good, personally. Nine points, six rebounds. Um, made his presence felt on the defensive end, even though he didn't have a lot of blocks, he still made his presence felt. Um, and even Plumlee played pretty good. I, I really hate Steve Clifford's guts. Um, six minutes left in the fourth quarter, you put in Plumlee. Then one minute later, you take him back out and you go small and we don't stop anything. And you cost me my money. I just need I needed one plumbly assist. That's all I needed. I'm absolutely fucking disgusted. Um, yeah, bro. Steve Clifford, he's a fucking idiot. Um, he he he's he just needs to be fired, bro. Do we watch Terry Rozier have one of the worst basketball games of all time? Like absolute dog shit. Um at one point, he was like one for 15. He finishes two for 17. That is 11%. Terry Rozier led the Hornets in minutes tonight with 37. How? How is somebody that is zero for 14 lead the team in minutes? Steve Clifford is, is fuck. <sighs> like, at that point, bro, play book night. Where's Bryce McGowan's at? What are we doing? Like, bro, Clifford is fucking stupid as fuck. He's dumb as hell. Like, bro, what the fuck? Why the fuck are you just sitting here watching this motherfucker play like shit? And you play him damn near the whole fucking game. How does the player that's playing the worst lead the team in minutes? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, bro, I swear to God, bro. Steve Clifford is a fucking idiot, bro. Like, what 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 are you watching? What are you watching? Just watching Terry Rozier play like fucking shit. And he plays damn near 40 minutes? And he's shooting 11%? Are you kidding me? I mean, and then not to mention, I mean, you bench Plumlee, who has fucking 14 points and 8 rebounds, but you keep Terry Rozier in the game. And he's playing like shit. Gordon Hayward playing like shit. I'm 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 really disgusted, bro. I mean, Gordon Hayward, bro. Four for 14. 28% from the field. 35 minutes. Over four from three. Terry Rozier. 37 minutes. Two for 17 from the field. That is 11%, 12%. One for seven from three. That is 14%. This man played the most minutes out of everybody. Negative 26 plus minus. Fucking re... I don't want to say the R word. I'm about to, like, I don't want to say the R I'm trying to say the R word. I'm absolutely fucking disgusted. Like, Terry Rozier played more minutes than LaMelo tonight. Just, just stop and think about that, bro. Motherfuckers wonder why this team is where it is. This is why. Nothing that the Hornets do makes any fucking sense. That's why we end up where we always end up. Because we lack common sense as a fucking franchise. 
Like, bro, you sit here and watch your worst player give him the most minutes. Your best player, I mean, LaMelo played plenty of minutes, but it's still like everything should be going through him, especially when LaMelo is the only person that can seem to make a fucking shot. Everybody else is ice cold. We're sitting here watching Hayward chuck up shot after shot. Just, bro. There is so. And then not to mention, this is on national TV. This this was on NBA TV. Every time the Hornets get on national TV, we act a fucking fool. Oh, man. All right. I'm so, I'm, I am highly upset. Like, bro, my bread, my bag, gone. Fuck. Oof, man. I got to, like, this is not about betting sports. This is about the Charlotte Hornets, but I'm still tight as fuck. Man. And PJ Washington just got into player to player of the game. He played pretty well. He played pretty well. I mean, 22 points. He played good. He played good. It's just something something about PJ where he just so highs and lows like a motherfucker. He played like shit for about seven games in a row. So I knew he was gonna start his trend of, of good games again. So happy for him. Right in time for the trade deadline. <laughs> like, man, every time we feel like we get some traction. We show our ass, bro. Like, the Bulls just lost to the fucking Rockets. They're ahead of us. You know, like, we saw some teams lose today that could have helped us move up. And what do we do? Lose. Just, just, just. I mean, we had a lead, bro. We had a lead and we gave it away, as we usually do, bro. And I, I can't lie, man. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted because, I mean, we single-handedly saw who lost us the game. And y'all just kept giving them the ball. The same people. Like, bro, Rozier and Hayward single-handedly costed us the game. Um, Oubre was, wasn't very much help either. I mean, he had 15 points. But he was 5 for 14 and 25% from three. Um, bro, I'm blue, bro. Man, man, man. Like, y'all comment down below what y'all thought, what y'all think about what we saw tonight. The coaching, the play. Just comment down whatever you feel, you feel me? I'm calming down now. I feel myself calming down, but I was very upset. But I'm good now. But I was highly upset. Highly. And I mean, at this point, we're still 14th. And uh, yeah, we're now seven and a half games back out of 10th. So. It's, it's, it's starting to slip away. It's starting to slip away, and it's time for us to just become ass because this is futile stuff. I mean, the Magic are eight and two. The Magic are eight and two in their last ten games, and we're still four games behind them. The Magic have won eighty percent of their last ten games, and we're still four games behind them. Like, bro, we're done. <laughs> we're done, bro. I be trying to be optimistic when we win because it feels good, but, but we're done. Like, just go ahead, call the Lakers, and offer them Rozier and Plumlee, and let's just wrap this shit up, bro, because this is disgusting. I, I can't fathom to watch Terry Rozier anymore. I just don't want to see it, bro. He's so selfish, and he when he's not making shots, he's useless. I mean, he had some assists tonight. He actually had five assists, like, relatively early in the game. Like, around... <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. So, what time is it, man? 1247. This West Coast road trip has been whooping my ass. Man. But, um, 
he you know Terry Rozier actually had some assists pretty early in the game, but I mean, you just sit here and you watch what this man does. I can't take it. I can't watch Terry Rozier. He's so selfish. He's so selfish. I mean, Mark Williams was open a hundred times. Somehow, some way, Terry Rozier can't get the ball to, to Mark Williams. Wide open. Like, it's just plenty of stuff where it's just like, I just don't want to watch Terry Rozier on his team anymore. I don't. I don't want to see it anymore. Like, bro, get on the phone and start making some trades, bro. I don't want to watch this same team no more. And LaMelo has us number one in pace. LaMelo has us doing a lot of things that we weren't doing a few weeks ago. But it's still some some things about this team that still need to change, bro. For real. Like, man. Man. I'm interested to see when stuff starts popping off. Like, when do deals start getting done? <sighs> Christ, I'm about to wrap this video up. You know, and stuff. But, oh, dang. I, I don't even know if I got to the stats. I've just been complaining. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to the stats, bro. My fucking head hurts. All right, man. Let's get to the box score, bro. Gordon Hayward, like I said, 4 for 14, 28% from the field, 0 for 4 from 3, absolute dog shit. 10 points. Um, yeah, ass. PJ Washington, 9 for 13 to 70%. 80% from three. P.J. Washington played a hell of a game. Great game, P.J. Player of the game. Gonna put that shit somewhere right here. whoop de doo Great for P.J. Washington. Um, and there's a lot of people that were betting on him today. And he cashed for them. So, can, congratulations to everybody that bet on, on P.J. Washington today. Um, let's see. Plumley, 14 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. I needed 3. Devastating stuff. Only had one foul, zero turnovers. I don't know why he got benched. I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted. I mean, he's a negative 20 plus minus, but who cares? Everybody else is playing like shit anyway. 5% from the field, 80% from the free throw line. Like Plumlee was playing one of his best games and he got benched, bro. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot believe Steve Clifford pulled him, bro. Bro, that shit that has cost me like at least... At least a hundred, a hundred fifty plus dollars, maybe two, bro. Like, why, why bitch him, bro? Oh my god, I'm disgusted. Tarot's year, seven points, six assists. He actually had six assists. Um, one for seven from three. That's fourteen percent. Two for seventeen from the field. 12% from the field, and he led the team in minutes. Absolutely disgusting stuff. And Steve Clifford should have to pay for this. Um, LaMelo Ball, 35 minutes, 10 for 26, 38%, 40% from three, three for four from the free throw line, seven assists. Ooh. He fouled out. Um, LaMelo's been in foul trouble a lot. Is what it is. 27 points for LaMelo. Oubre, 15 points, five rebounds, one assist, um, five for 15 from the field, 33%, 25% from three. Nasty stuff. Um, McDaniels, three for seven, 43%, 50% from the three point line. Um, McDaniels also be very selfish sometimes. He had so many fast breaks where he just not passing the ball. Like Jalen McDaniels on a fast break, he's not passing the ball 110. percent Um, Mark Williams, nine points, six rebounds, two steals, an assist, and is actually the only person with a positive plus minus besides Tail Maladon and somehow Kelly Oubre. Free Mark Williams. Like, what the, What are we waiting on? This We we had this man in Greensboro. He was, he was like our leading scorer at one point. We had this man in Greensboro. This team is clueless, bro. Clueless. And Teo Maladon, uh, eight minutes, zero for zero from the field. 
<laughs> like he he just he he doesn't you know he doesn't score, but he passed the ball four assists. Whew. Man, gotta wrap this up. Four assists in eight minutes for Tail Maladon. That's just what he does. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We're right back at it tomorrow against the Warriors. Um, last game of this road trip, and then we should be on the way back home. I'm pretty positive this is the last game of the road trip. I hope this is the last game of the road trip at this point. Um, yeah, man. We come home, we play the Thunder um, and the Nets. That's our next two games. So, yeah, man. I wrap this up. My head is hurting. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, man. We're right back at it. I know I'm in a bad mood today. But tomorrow, I'll be happy. It's a new day. And I'm going to run the same bets that I ran tonight. I'm running back tomorrow. Plumley two and a half, sis. LaMelo, three and a half three-pointers. Banger. I'm out of here. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow.